Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on October 13th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather for the last 24 hours, earthquakes, and world weather, disasters. Looking here at our sun, 304 angstroms, healthy sunspot here in the southern region, and as well, many plasma filaments erecting from the surface. Looking here at the outgoing images and incoming, we do have a sunspot that is incoming. We'll have another look at 511 angstroms, a little earth to scale. We do have a growing and diminishing coronal hole, earth facing equatorial. Not too much to talk about though. Observing here, the last few images pretty active sunspot that, that will be incoming. Looking here at our images, you can see the whole heliosphere. Looking here now at the real time solar wind, the last three days, as our highest wind speed was about 316 kilometers per second. So it's pretty steady and calm. And right now we're at 288 kilometers per second. Looking here at the Schumann resonance for today, a power of 18. Small spike early this morning. Amplitude of 18, a frequency of 7.87. Now let's get to earthquakes here. Looking at USGS, as there's been many earthquakes across uh, California and into Los Angeles today, even at Nevada. But particularly, I was looking at the many earthquakes around Los Angeles. As early this morning, there was about 200 earthquakes that were reported all along the fault lines here in Los Angeles. Moving northward into Ridgecrest, Mammoth Mountain. Utah, Nevada, earthquakes in Idaho, and as well earthquakes around Yellowstone. And here in Montana, Silver Gate, and as well here in Idaho, small swarm that just started, Salmon River. This is the earthquake map for the last 24 hours, looking at a lot of unrest across South American plate. We've been talking about all the volcanoes that have been activating as well as Ubinas. There was a 4.7 here reported San Fernando, Peru most recent as well 4.5 here in Ecuador 5.0 at Ubinas in Peru 4.6 Chile Total Chile and as well Argentina 4.4 Central America earthquake swarms continuing in the Caribbean plate. Sorry about that. So yeah, continuing here, Dominican Republic. And as well, here in Mexico, 4.2, 4.3. And then a pretty sizable 3.3 report in Arizona today. 2.7 there, California. 2.9 up in Forks, Washington. Up into Alaska, 2.7 Juneau, Alaska. Minor rumbles across the Aleutian Islands as well. 3.6, 3.1. One lonely earthquake in Japan, 4.8. And then earthquakes across the Philippines today as well. 4.8, 4.7, and a 4.5. Babayan Islands region. Papua New Guinea popping off a 4.9. And as well, Vanuatu with a 4.9. Deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 210 kilometer depth. As well, observing a 5.3 here 
off the Arabian plate and a 4.4 Tajikistan. That is our earthquake map for the last 24 hours. Pretty busy, I would say. Looking here the last seven days, you can see where all the most recent activity has been. All of those white rings are the most recent. And all across South America, it's a rockin' up into the Aleutian Islands. Deep earthquakes, Tonga region still, and now deep earthquakes all across South America. As volcanoes are popping off and activating all along the rift. This is the last seven days for earthquakes, folks. Stay aware and prepared. Have a plan. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here, looking at the most recent volcanoes being updated and as well, satellite imagery of our weather. Senge in Ecuador and as well, Reventador in Ecuador. Sebenkaya in Peru, looking at a landslide in Bali, Indonesia. Uh, Popo in Mexico, Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Copohu in Chile and Argentina, Dokono in Indonesia. So that's about nine volcanoes being updated today. One new one with the Kopuhu. And if you want more information on the volcanoes from around the world, please check out this video in the link. Looking at 45 erupting volcanoes from around the world. Also looking here, Tropical Depression Norbert, who is heading up the West Coast, San Francisco Bay Area. have to see what that does in the coming days and the only other tropical storm that we're looking at is tropical storm Ananka who is heading westward across Thailand and then into Pakistan and in India or sorry India then Pakistan but strong storms across India right now low pressure system moving in and has been all day long Watching the five-day forecast as a cyclone develops west coast of India. Observing large atmospheric river penetrating the west coastline. And luckily it went at a lower latitude. Putting out those fires across Washington State. Down into Oregon. Large atmospheric river across the southern hemisphere as well. Just some really nasty low pressure systems. Very strong, vigorous lows spinning across the southern hemisphere right now. As it's about to flip flop into spring down there and winter up here. So yeah, some moisture moving into the Washington state. This five day forecast brought to you by Media Worth, Media Mike. Starting out here, looking at Calgary, Alberta, as yeah, we have a winter storm warning for tonight and the next day, and as well for the weekend coming up. Looking here, we'll probably get about five centimeters of snow tonight, but next weekend we'll probably get about 10 to 20 centimeters, so get your shovels, get your boots, and be ready for a long, wet, cold winter. Watching that small Alberta clipper quickly move eastward, into Quebec and then get wrapped around the low pressure system tucked into the Hudson Bay. That is an early polar vortex bringing quite a winter storm to parts of Nunavut and the Yukon. But yes, big system moving up the east coast as well. It's going to affect Montreal and about three of the Atlantic provinces, New Brunswick, PEI, Nova Scotia and then into Quebec. It's going to be a very vigorous system. Mostly the United States staying dry this week. High pressure ridge moving in. But then in the long range forecast, watch for that color or Alberta clipper to quickly move southeastward. And that'll bring the cooler temperatures and maybe some rain. Overlooking Central America, not too much to talk about. No areas of interest right now for tropical storms across the Atlantic. South America, daily evaporation rains heavier towards Argentina, Buenos Aires here. Watching quite a system move through there. And as well, southern Argentina. 
watching low after low hammer that coastline as well. Overlooking Africa, not too much to talk about. Daily evaporation rains through the central regions. Overlooking Europe, watch for this system to move across Italy and into Greece and bring some pretty extreme weather across Italy and into Greece. And it's going to quickly move eastward into Russia and join forces with a bunch of other low pressure systems. United Kingdom trapped in a high pressure ridge, drying things out. And here are those low pressure systems I was talking about in Russia. So two low pressure systems and then another one comes in from the Mediterranean and they're already dealing with heavy flood conditions and winter storm conditions early across Russia. There might be an area of interest here in the West Pacific later in the week, but it has not been declared yet. But most likely we'll head towards Thailand. But watch as those heavy rains and storms move across India. And then most likely form a cyclone off the West Coast heading into the Yemen. Overlooking Australia, dry, dry, dry. Later in the week, watching for some moisture relief, southeastern parts down into Sydney. That's still very dry across the continent. Some fires have sparked up. We'll leave it here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere. These drastic changes are coming to our northern hemisphere as we are transitioning into winter. And we just got into fall. So, early winter, here we come. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Get your boots and shovels. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye. Don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.